Hello everybody, Daniel Movie Productions back at it again with yet another Brandish video. Today I decided to take a crack at the tier lists and make one of my own. This is actually on Google Docs. I tried to find an actual tier list making thing, but for some reason they all just require you to log in. And I didn't really want to have to create an entirely new account just to make a tier list for probably like a one-time thing. So I decided to just go on my Google Docs and do it instead like this. I've never done a video like this before. Uh, so I do apologize if there's anything that comes out uh, strange. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so first thing is first, we're going to start off with the man himself, Ares. Uh, Ares, obviously, is going up here on the S tier. Uh, now, obviously, Ares is my favorite character in the Branch series. Much like most people, I think. I think a lot of people like... Ares as the favorite. Uh, I'm not exactly sure, though. But anyways, Ares is going on the S tier. He's just different from most of those uh, silent protagonists. Uh, you know, he, he doesn't really help people. He just does things uh, for himself. And uh, overall, he just... He has a cool design. He has a pretty cool backstory. Um... And uh, he's also very funny in the comics, so there's that. I love a person with a great sense of humor. And uh, next up, we've got Della here, who is, like, the main antagonist of everything. I'm gonna, surprisingly enough, I'm gonna put uh, Della in the A tier. Uh, Della definitely has some of her moments where she's funny, uh, but I, I wouldn't put her in the S tier. Um, she's, she's, uh, she's one of those characters where, like, she's good, but she's not the best. So, I'll put her in the A tier. Uh, next up, we've got Carl from Brandish 2. Uh, Carl, I think he has really good potential. And while I would like to put him in the A tier, I think I'm gonna put him in the B tier, uh, because I think even though Carl is a, a good character, in my opinion at least, um, he doesn't really have too much to go off of. We don't really know too much about Carl. Uh, so I think he had massive potential to be a, a good uh, recurring character, uh, but that was sadly thrown in the trash when he... Spoiler alert, died in Brandish 2. Um, so I think if we saw more of Carl, then I would definitely put him in the A tier. Next up, we've got Jinza. Jinza, I'm going to put in the A tier. Because from what I've seen, Jinza is a pretty uh, badass character. He's, um, from what I've read... I think he doesn't really care about his uh, people that works for him in the ninja clan. He just kind of uses them for his own purpose. And uh, I'm not sure if this is correct. Uh, but then again, Brandish 3 has not been translated. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think Jinza's whole goal was to steal that stone or whatever. And the whole point was to... Uh, you know, make sure it didn't fall into the wrong hands. And in the end, Jinza ended up dying. All right, uh, next up we have Jinko. Jinko is a interesting one because I don't know too much about Jinko either. From what I understand, Jinko only appears in the comics and in the drama CD. So I, I don't know what her deal is. So, I'll... For for now, I'll put her in the. Uh, I guess I'll. I guess I'll. Put
put her in the D tier, maybe. Uh, I, I, I just, I don't know too much about her. Uh, I don't know if she's, like, a funny character. I don't know if she's a serious character. But I want to be nice, and, uh, I want to just... Actually, let me fix that. Uh, I'm just gonna put her in the D tier for now. Um, moving on. Next up, we have Umber. Oh, Umber. You know, uh, I think I'll put Umber in the C tier. Uh, I, I know Umber definitely is, like, the, um, masculine female kind of character in the series. Uh, and she definitely has a cool design. I definitely like that. And I kind of noticed that she has a little bit of, like, a, a soft side in the, uh, comic. Uh, again, kind of like Della, not, uh, not a bad character, but at the same time, like, not really one of my favorites. Um, so I'll put her in the C tier. Uh, I'm, I think I'm just gonna put her in the C tier, uh, because... Della, I think she's more funny than Umber, and Carl is also more funny than Umber in the comics. Next up, we have Helene, or Helene, I don't know how you pronounce it, uh, but she's basically Carl's advisory. I'm gonna put her in the E tier. Uh, she has even less screen time than Carl, or maybe, wait, does she? I don't know. Uh, but I, I think she has less screen time than Carl. Um, she most definitely has less advertising for Carl, because Carl was on, like, one of the covers. But, uh, she, she's an okay character, I guess. Uh, kind of bland, but not in a bad way, I guess. So, E tier. Next up, we have D. Um, and D is from Brandish VT, and he's the only character from VT that I'm putting in this tier list. I, I know absolutely nothing about the other characters from VT. I really just know about D. And D, uh, I'm gonna actually put him in the A tier, which might be surprising. Uh, D is my favorite character from VT. Um, he, he has an awesome design. I like how he's got kind of like a two-tone hairstyle, uh, and his backstory is actually pretty cool, like, uh, I think he helps out an orphan, uh, and he basically takes him under his wing, uh, and it was all just kind of charming to me, and also he has, he has a whip, uh, and, you know, sometimes, you know, it's nice to see people use, uh, weapons that aren't swords in medieval times, um, but, you know, D's an awesome character, uh, very cool design, very neat backstory, uh, I know most of the people in the fandom don't really look upon VT as, like, that great, because it isn't technically in the Brandish series, but, uh, for me, I think you guys should, at the very least, look into it and maybe give it a chance. I've never played it myself, but if I do get the chance to, I'll definitely try it out. Next up, we have King Bestal, or King Barabbas, or, uh, I think, yeah, I don't know. Um, uh, I'm gonna put him in the E tier again, uh, along with Helene, E tier. Uh, also, just cause he's kind of a, um, a rude dude, you know, like he doesn't really care uh, she just wants power. Uh, quite honestly, I'm not really so sure why I put him in the tier list. I guess it was just for filler, but, um, yeah, E tier for King Bastal. Nothing really to say about him. I think the only reason why I'm not putting him in the F tier is because he, uh, I think he inspired Asgore's design in Undertale, and Asgore is most definitely a better king than King Bastal, if you ask me. Next up, we have Mason. Ooh, Mason, I think I'm going to put him in the C tier as well. Uh, Mason's from Brandish 3, and again, I don't really know too much about him, 
but he definitely has a neat design. Um, he also has a banger boss fight soundtrack. Um, actually, I think I like Mason's theme better than Carl's theme. Um, whew, but yeah, uh, aside from that, nothing really much else to say about Mason. Um, I think he does end up betraying the good guys in the end. Uh, but yeah, uh, and then we have Morel. uh, Morel is Della's adopted sister. Uh, so Morel, I think I'm gonna... <sighs> D tier. D tier for Morel. Um, again, just not really too much to say about her kind of like Jinko, um, but I definitely don't think she's gonna turn out to be a bad character, uh, once Brandish 3 gets translated, <laughs> but, you know, again, nothing really too much else to say, and last, we have King Bador from Brandish 2, and I think, uh, uh, King Bador definitely plays more of a role in the story than King Bastal, and I think, King Bedorer is gonna go in the B tier. And you're probably wondering, why am I putting King Bedorer in the B tier? Well, I think it's all obvious. Uh, he has a ban- he has probably the most banger soundtrack in the Brander series, uh, Gato Bedorer. Listen, say what you want to say, but I think it's been- I think it's common sense that Gato Bedorer is most likely the most- popular Brandish song because it's known for inspiring Megalovania. Um, but even without Megalovania involved, Gato Bedor still hits hard. And it hits hard really good. It's it's a really, really good song, trust me. Um, but that doesn't mean that there aren't still any other good Brandish songs out there. Uh, because Nihon Falcom... Uh, you know, they, they love, they love to, uh, have really amazing songs. The, uh, Falcom sound team, team is amazing. And that's, uh, that's about it for the tier list. I don't know what else to say. Oh, wait, now I know what else to say. Crap, I forgot Balkan. Uh, yeah, I actually intended to put Balkan in this. Uh, but to be honest... Again, I don't really know too much about him, so I think it might have just been better for me to leave him out anyways. Uh, anyways, there's the Brandish tier list. Uh, I want to apologize if I stuttered too much, because I'm pretty sure I did. This video was not scripted. This was just something that I was like, oh yeah, let's do this, and let me also make a video about it, because I think people will enjoy it. Um, but that's about it. Uh, let me know what your guys' rankings would be in the comments below, if you want to. And, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. And, uh, P.S., the trailer for the Security Brandish is going well, actually. I have the entire script for the trailer done. And hopefully, I can get filming for it done over spring break. So if there's any kind of close time to a release date for the trailer, it is more likely going to be in spring break. But I'm not exactly sure, because uh, I have to check with schedules. But hope you guys enjoyed this little video, and I'll see you guys next time.